Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from ControlPaint.com. Now, pretty recently I realized that I used to be afraid of drawing cars and I'm not afraid of drawing them anymore. And I've been trying to figure out what is it about the way I approach drawing that's changed. Because I used to look at a car and say, that is the most complicated object in the world. I'm never going to be able to draw those. Car guys draw cars. I'll draw other stuff. And the main distinction I came up with is I used to think in terms of shape. Now I think in terms of form. So it really has to do with how I see the car, not necessarily the drawing itself. So I used to see the car as a very elegant shape, also a very complex shape. So I thought, well, there's no way I know how to draw that. That's too perfect. I'll get the angles wrong. Now when I see the car, or really any object, I think in terms of form. I think of a simplified surface structure. So I may not draw these lines right on an image, but this is what I'm envisioning. So working with constructive form is intertwined completely with understanding perspective. Because what I'm doing is I'm simplifying this into more basic 3D objects. And you can only really draw 3D objects if you understand perspective. So to finish out Perspective Week, getting up to the launch of the Perspective Sketching series, I want to talk about bugs. First off, this is real. This is called a rhinoceros beetle, and it is awesome. But it's really easy to think of this in terms of shape. So here it's a black and white silhouette. It looks menacing. Okay, but this doesn't really tell us too much about how to draw this from another angle. So let's think about this guy in terms of form. Now I'm going to look at this back carapace here, this sort of shell on his back. This is the line that divides it from his head. But instead of just drawing the line, I'm going to think through the form, almost as if he's transparent, made of glass. And then there are a couple other key landmarks. There's this line that runs right down the back, sort of a ridge. That's the center line. And then there's this sort of other ridge right here, and then there's the bottom. So if I were to think about this, I would picture those ribs, almost like the construction of a ship. And they would follow the form this way, and then when they hit this ridge, they would probably turn a sharper angle. You can erase away what you don't want. But this is a mental exercise more than a drawing exercise. Because oftentimes I really don't draw this way. But this is how I visualize the shape. So let's try his head. Generally, there's sort of a sphere here. And then there's this big horn that comes out. Well, I like to visualize where the horn attaches to the head. So if you can picture this as a big sphere, this is sort of the root of the horn. And I'll erase away where it would be hidden. And then there's a ridge along the side of the horn here. And then a center line up top. And I'm going to draw those holes one more time. So they wrap around the form. I could do the same thing with the top of his head. See how these little holes wrap around the brow ridge there? And then that defines the sort of bottom of his head where this other horn comes out. So once again, I'd have sort of the base of that horn and I would proceed to draw these holes around it. So what you see here is not really a realistic beetle. It's more of a mannequin or an armature that you would then put details on top of. It's a mental exercise more than a drawing exercise. So your assignment is going to be to find pictures of bugs and then trace on top of them in this mannequin style. Draw through the form. Think of it three-dimensionally. Put in those construction lines to really show what the form is like. Don't think in terms of shape. Because ultimately, you look at any object and you can just see this. You don't always need to draw it. Then you combine that idea with perspective, and you can draw something like this from your imagination. Thanks for coming to Control Paint, guys.